Good evening and welcome to Property Express News brought to you by PE Live. My name is Nanaya Ochiribia. Was sponsored by Rehoboth Properties, Mayfair Estates, Goldkey Properties, Adum City Estates, Lemonade Finance, and NALA. Coming up in the headlines, tenants in the country to be sensitized on their rights and responsibilities. A building expert advocates use of bamboo for construction. And in international news, Kenya to pilot Africa's first data hub for real estate investors. Now the news in details. Tenants in the country to be sensitized on their rights and responsibilities. The Rent Control Department says it is embarking on a sensitization drive to intensify education on the rights and responsibilities of tenants. Speaking to the Property Express News in Accra, the head of the Public Relations Unit of the Rent Control Department, Emmanuel Posu, said the move is aimed at empowering tenants. Mr. Posu explained that it was necessary for tenants to be well informed about their rights and responsibilities, adding that tenants should report any landlord who infringes upon their rights to the department. He further indicated that all typical rent issues to be reported to the department and criminal cases involving the landlord and renters to the police. The head of public relations unit of the rent control department also urged renters to always demand a tenancy agreement, a rent card, and also demand receipts upon on payment of rent advance. He explained it was illegal for property owners to charge in dollars before as they are needed to acquire a license from Bank of Ghana before doing so. Mr. Kwasu encouraged all persons who want to invest into the real estate business not to look any further as government was coming up with a number of interventions in the housing sector to make it more viable. Bamboos are a suitable choice for construction. A building expert is advocating for the use of bamboo for building and construction in the country. Frank Abwaji Dinyansa says research has proven bamboos have higher tensile strength than iron rods, making it a suitable choice to be intertwined with concrete for heavy construction projects. Speaking at the launch of the 2022 edition of the Love FM Habitat Fair in Kumasi, Mr. Dinyansa said bamboo is a cheaper alternative since the local building material is readily available in the country. Mr. Dinyansa expressed worry that the country country could be losing out on the potential for bamboo for construction. According to him, bamboo can support the concrete and the iron rods to an extent that it becomes hard before the next block is laid. Then that should make us think that we are losing the bamboo as Ghanaians. It's high time we replace iron rods with bamboo to make construction cheaper. Our research says that bamboo is stronger than iron rods by 2,500 tensile strengths. The 2022 edition of the Habitat Fair in Kumasi is anticipated to be the biggest housing and construction exhibition, attracting some of Ghana's real estate companies and other industry players who will introduce their products and services to homeowners and potential homeowners. The event themed home ownership. Where You Live Matters is slated for September 30th to October 2nd, 2022 in Kumasi. Public encouraged to invest in the green economy. The acting director of the Department of Parks and Gardens, Mr. Charles Ni Aite Okain, has called on Ghanaians to invest in the green economy by creating space, especially in their homes for natural plants, to thrive. Mr. Okain made the call at the 10th anniversary of the Ghana Garden and Flower Movement Show, a flagship event by the Stratcom Africa on the theme, Growth Unleashed. The show was aimed at celebrating the country's unique flora and fauna herbs, spices, and vegetables. It also seeks to create awareness about the commercial aesthetics, psychological, and health benefits of a greener environment. The director expressed concern that many were still cementing their compounds instead of planting flowers. Mr. Okain said it was their mandate to raise awareness of the importance and benefits of keeping plants as part of the human living and protection of the environment. 
He noted that the awareness creation, which included the participation in the events like the show organized by Strategic Communications, Stratcom Africa, was gradually making more Ghanaian homeowners cultivate the habit. The director said it was mandatory per the Assembly's bylaws to include a green space when planning to build a house. This, he said, will not only enhance the environment but also control moderate temperature in and around the house and help reduce the carbon footprint. Mr. Okain advised Guineans to take interest in developing the green infrastructure of the country. In accordance with the Green Ghana Initiative introduced by the President, Nana Adodankwa Ikufu Adom. We'll go for a short commercial break. Please stay with us. Ghana Housing Show 2022. Housing Ghana is ready to offer opportunities to diasporans and investors based in London and Europe in 2022. Are you resident in London or Europe? All roads leading to creating wealth to Ghanaians and investors is at Wembley Stadium, Southway, HA9 OWS. Are you a developer, contractor, or a mortgage provider? Do not hesitate to book your stand to meet investors who want to take a pie of your product. Secure your ticket today. By the way, there will be an awards and dinner night on Saturday 5th of November 2022. In attendance is the Honorable Francis Asenso Boachi, Minister, Water Resources, Works and Housing, the Ghana High Commissioner in London and the Greeda President, MC Abeiku Santana. Book your ticket and get your dancing shoes ready. Call. 44740-471-4332 or 44753-436-0017 Email info at ghanapropertyawards.com Please note, to get your secure ticket for the exhibition, all you have to do is register with your name and email address to get your free pass to meet the outstanding contractors, real estate developers and mortgage providers in Ghana. Wealth is meant for those who seek for it. Sponsors, Adon Group, JL Properties, Kaya Tours, NALA, Lamont Finance, Gold Key Properties, Mayfair Properties, CPL Properties, Rehoboth Properties, and Ipincra City Projects. Mortgage Partners, Republic Bank, FNB Bank, and Stambic Bank. Media Partners, Despite Group, Rainbow Radio, and Property Express Magazine. Welcome back from the break. We're sponsored by Rehoboth Properties, Mayfair Estates, Gold Key Properties, Adum City Estates, Lemonade Finance, and NALA. Now elsewhere in the continent, Kenya will be the first country to benefit from an initiative by players in Africa's housing sector, seeking to make critical data available for developers, financiers, and the public. Through the Open Access Initiative, data on the cost of construction, time taken to complete projects, and specific challenges arising in the housing sector will be made public across the continent. The initiative which will cover the continent is being piloted in Kenya. The Open Access Initiative is being spearheaded by the Center for Affordable Housing Finance in Africa, CAHF, Financial Sector Deepening, FSD, Africa Investments, Kenya, and International Housing Solutions, IHS. Together, these market facilitators have formed the Affordable Housing Investment Alliance, AHIA, which will in turn drive the Open Access Initiative. The anticipation is that this data will guide investors in affordable housing on what units are profitable, areas that are underserved, and how to navigate the challenges and returns on investments. Ultimately, this information is expected to save investors money and time. Thank you very much for watching. Do want to follow us on all our social media handles. We're on LinkedIn, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Please hit the subscribe button and share our videos. Thank you and have a good evening.